Mushrooms of Illinois. What is a mushroom? It's the reproductive structure of a fungus. Mushrooms and their relatives are not plants. They are not animals either. They are part of the kingdom fungi. Other examples of fungi include yeasts, rusts, and smuts. It is estimated that more than one million species of fungi exist on Earth. Not all of the fungi in Illinois have been identified. More than 1,200 species exist in just the Chicago area. Fungi are made of chitin, the same material that makes up your fingernails. They cannot produce their own food, so they obtain energy by absorbing nutrients from living and dead materials around them. Fungi exist almost everywhere, including soil, wood, and within many living creatures. For example, termites depend upon microscopic fungi in their digestive tract to break down the wood they eat. Other fungi live in a mutually beneficial relationship with plants. All tree roots are connected to microscopic networks of fungi that provide moisture and nutrients from the soil. In exchange, the fungi take some of the surplus sugars produced by the tree for energy. Fungi are nature's recycling machines because they break down organic material and release stored nutrients that can be used again. Not only do they absorb nutrients for their own use, but they also provide nutrients to other living things. However, not all species of fungi are beneficial. Some cause disease. Some fungi can decompose tree roots. Others can decompose the heartwood. Fungal infections in plants often occur as a result of stress due to injury or severe weather. Animals can get fungal infections too, but fungi also are a source of many medicines. Antibiotics, cholesterol-lowering drugs, and the anti-rejection drug that makes organ transplants possible are derived from fungi. Some mushrooms are an important source of food for living things. Microscopic organisms eat fungi. Some ants cultivate fungi for food. Some flies and beetles lay eggs in fungi for their offspring to eat. Box turtles, squirrels, and other woodland creatures feed on fungi. Some animals store dried mushrooms to eat. Not all mushrooms are edible. Some mushrooms are toxic to wildlife, and some species found in Illinois are deadly poisonous to humans. However, you cannot be poisoned by touching a mushroom. What's the difference between a fungus and fungi? One mushroom is a fungus, two or more mushrooms are fungi. Mushrooms produce spores to reproduce. Some mushrooms produce spores on gills under the cap. Others produce spores on smooth undersurfaces or tooth-like spines. Puffball mushrooms produce their spores internally and can produce trillions of microscopic spores. Other mushrooms produce spores in tube-like pores under the cap. The color of mushroom spores can be revealed by making a spore print. Spore color can help identify mushrooms. The mushroom we see is just a smaller portion of a much larger organism. Connected to the base of a mushroom are microscopic threads that make up the main structure of this fungus. Although we cannot see the microscopic threads, or mycelia, they created the mushroom and are much larger than the mushroom. In fact, the largest living thing on Earth is a fungus nicknamed the humongous fungus. The humongous fungus lives in the soil in the state of Oregon and is so large it can be measured on a map. Mushrooms can be difficult to identify. It's important to know where they are growing, such as on wood, in a grassy area, or near certain tree species. Features such as gills, pores, or smooth surface under the cap are important to identification. A variety of shapes exist, including spheres, shelf-like brackets, corals, clubs, wrinkled, and other odd shapes. DNA analysis is helping scientists identify mushrooms and understand their relationships to other mushrooms. Since there are many unidentified mushrooms in our state, it is possible for anyone to find a new species. The next time you see a mushroom, remember that it is helping to recycle nutrients in nature, continuing the cycle of life.